Hey, welcome to the sixth part of the Board at Home Photography series. Today's video will be a little bit special because we're not gonna do any light painting today. We're gonna try to get some epic footage from our home through the window and from the balcony. Therefore, I am not using the massive expensive telelens. All footage shown in this video is taken with the short focal length 90mm macro lens. Let's do it. Every day I check all the windows in our apartment and the balcony, hoping to find something interesting. A lot of birds, and especially squirrels, get offspring at the moment, so there's really a lot going on outside. And from time to time a baby squirrel visit our balcony, practicing its first jumps. Wow, isn't that cute? The great thing here is that it always runs and climbs the same course. So I decided to grab my macro lens and stand behind the birdhouse, waiting for the baby squirrel to come back. I assumed that it would stay away at least one or two meters, but after a while it directly ran to me and almost crashed into my macro lens. I really didn't see that coming. It visited me almost every day doing the same jumps, the same runs, having fun on the balcony and practicing. When the squirrel recognized me, I really expected that I would scare it away. But somehow this squirrel didn't care. I could get closer and closer and take a lot of images. Hey, what's on your head? The upcoming footage can be a little bit disturbing. One day, baby squirrel tried to climb to the balcony above and got really into trouble. I almost got a heart attack at that moment. I was only hoping that baby squirrel was fine. It fell down and landed hard on the stairs made of stone. And I was really concerned that it might be seriously injured. But after a few seconds being shocked, it stood up and ran away. The next days it did not visit my balcony anymore. But there were a couple of other squirrels which showed by. This one looks a little bit older. Maybe it's one of the parents of baby squirrel. Who knows? Let's have a look on some images I took those days. Look at those claws. Mmm, that looks tasty. This is one of my favorite. The squirrel is hanging in the rain and also got a nut. Two days later it stopped raining, the sun was back and also was the baby squirrel. And again I stood behind the birdhouse, waiting for the squirrel to jump straight into my lens. Hey, how you doing? I really had a great time watching this squirrel exploring its environment, even although it's not natural. And through all those days I have not fed the baby squirrel. I just used my balcony as a playground. Come on, you can do that! I know this video is not a normal photography idea video, but I really wanted to share that it's even possible to shoot wildlife at home. And I got two more stories I'd like to share with you, about the storks and birds of prey. So if you like this kind of content, I'd really appreciate a comment or a like and I will produce more content like this. And if you don't want to see more videos like this, it's fine, just let me know. So stay healthy, I really hope that you like this world story and hopefully see you in the next video.